Hello viewers, um, today's video is just going to be a quick little tip on um, how to test um, standard clothes dryers, um, electric dryers that is, on um, how to uh, see if they work with um, without having to plug them in like a standard 240, a 30 amp outlet, um, which is what they're, they're supposed to run off of. But uh, this is a little quick tip I'm going to share with you. Uh, this is what, a little technique I use. But um, all you have to do is, of course, uh, with your connections, you usually you'll have a, a white, black, and red. I don't know if you can see the wires up there. But uh, And then, of course, your neutral, or this is your ground. But um, all you do is, um, also I uh, should mention that this uh, this wire setup, this is just some kind of funky wire I had um, laying around. Uh, it's set up as a European style, so um, usually it'll be like white and black and then ground. Um, as you'll see there uh, on a normal um, plug but just for the sake of this video and just because this is the only thing I had at the moment just thought I'd point that out but you're gonna hook your neutral in the center of course that's what white is and then black of course is the uh, line one and then red is line two um, I think that's correct I mean it, it doesn't matter the the red and the black uh, if you switch those two it'll still work but um, on a standard 240 system, if you're running it off of 240, but in this case, we're running it off of 120 volts um, at a 20 amp circuit. So, but um, anyway, uh, let me move my amp meter right here real quick. But anyway, like I said, um, is your neutral uh, live? And then as you see here, um, I have white jumped over to red, and that is to activate the heating element. If you just hook up, um, neutral in line um the red and the black one um all that's going to happen is the motor is going to run but the heating element will not turn on um, of course because there's no power going to it so uh yeah so anyway and how to test that is we're going to hook an amp meter first i'm going to run the dryer on air only to disable the heating element and we're just going to put it on air only and then i'm going to press start and as you'll see, we're only drawing about 4.46, 45, 46 amps. So, not bad. And then we're just going to turn it off. And then we're going to put it on normal time dry. And you'll see the current is going to go up. So now the heating element has been turned on. And now we're drawing... 14.2 amps so how you can tell is um, if it's working is of course as you've seen there we had a dramatic increase of current um, suddenly being drawn by the dryer and um, I got a little calculator here um, probably don't have to do all this in detail but um, mostly the well I don't know if this is going to work. You probably ain't going to see it. But um, let's see here. So usually um, I've worked on jars for a little bit um, and I've measured the impedance on them, on the heating elements. And usually they're about 10 ohms. So uh, what you're going to do is voltage divided by resistance. So we're going to do 120 volts is what we're running off of divided by 10 ohms or 10 we get about 12 amps of power is what the heating element alone is going to draw. So, and when we go down to uh, factor in, I'll say plus, uh, what is it, 4.4 .4 amps. Uh, about 16.4 uh, is what it should be drawing, but it's only drawing about 14 and a half. Um, also, uh, mostly the fact that I'm running this off of an extension cord, so there's probably some voltage drop along there, and therefore that's why it's not exactly 16 amps. Um, so, but if you're just plugging it, like, if I were to plug this straight into an outlet receptacle, it probably would be near about 15, 16 amps. So, anyway, and so just to make sure, if my stupid camera, there we go, would clear up. So, let's do 240 volts divided by 10 amps that is 24 amps total plus say 5 amps for the motor usually it's about what it is um we will get about 
29 amps, which is the normal rating. We come in here and we see right there uh, 26 amps was well, what it says, but um, it depends. Uh, they can be off, but so we're, we're close. We're in range. Um, so, and that's how you uh, pretty much just do a quick test uh, without having to take anything apart. Uh, like the back plate off and having to uh, see if the elements burnt out or not and also how to uh, I uh, do a quick test on just a standard 120 volt receptacle uh, without having to go into uh, Installing a big 30 amp if you ain't got one that's available, but um, I hope this was helpful to anybody out there and um, Thanks for watching